السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو ڈاکٹر طارق اروائی کے آور ٹوڈے ٹاپک از اباؤٹ دا سیل اینڈ ایٹ سٹرکچرس اباؤٹ لیونگ سیلز ہیومین سیلز سو بی کنیکٹڈ اینڈ واچ دا کمپلیٹ ویڈیو لائک ایٹ اینڈ میک کومنٹ لیٹ اسٹارٹ اور ٹوڈے ٹاپک سیل سیل بیسکلی از اسمالیسٹ لیونگ تھنگ اینڈ سیل از دی اسمالیسٹ یونٹ اف لائف اینڈ ایوری لائف کمپوز اف دا سیل سیل دے کین سروائو دے کین لائف دے کین ایگزسٹ انڈیپینڈنٹلی اینڈ دے اوریجنیٹ فرام دا پری ایگزسٹنگ سیلز There are two types of cells. Cell may be eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Eukaryotic cells are the complex cells. It contains all the necessary organelles such as mitochondria, Golgi platelets, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, double-stranded DNA, and the double membranous DNA. And other cells are the prokaryotic cells. They are very simple cells, and they don't have the double membranous DNA, and it, it contains nucleotides that dispersed in the cytoplasm. and it don't have the membranous organelles such as mitochondria golgi platelets and chloroplasts so what is the shape and size of the cell cell are in different shape and different size their shape may be spherical ovoid cubidical cubidal and the columnar pyramidal cylindrical and fusiform and regular and what is their size this size range from the 5 to 50 micrometer and the mature ohm may be 120 micrometer and the largest neuron may be 150 micrometer in diameter let's see the simple shape of the cells this is the cell and you can see its double membranous dna and let's see the other structures mitochondria ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum Golgi platelets and the outer membrane, cell membrane. So, what is the structure of the cell? The first component is the cell membrane. It is the outer membrane in the animal cells. It contains only cell membrane. It don't have the cell wall. Cell wall present in the animal cells and the fungi cells. So, so what is cell membrane? Cell membrane also known as the plasma membrane and the plasma lima it is selective permeable membrane it mean it can allow for some molecules some substance to enter it and it have uh, no permeability for other substances it is very thin it is small we can use only electron microscope to visualize the structure of the cell membrane its thickness about the 7.5 nanometer to 10 nanometer and it has the three laminar layers known as the trilaminar and it has two electron dense layers and it has the inner one electron ellipsoid very thin layer and each layer composed of the 2.5 nanometer it's bilayer composed of the phospholipids and proteins cholesterol and the carbohydrate what is fluid mosaic model of the cell membrane in this model it show that the proteins are embedded in the lipid bilayer what is the fluid in nature it the proteins are embedded in the fluid bilayer of the phospholipid that exhibit a mosaic like structure mosaic like patterns see the structure of the cell membrane let's see lipid bilayer here and the outer set of the cell membrane proteins carbohydrate chains phospholipids and the trans protein membranes and each phospholipids molecules compose two parts hydrophilic head and the hydrophobic hydrophobic tail what is hydrophilic head head it, it is polar and it consists of the phospholipids composed that are of glass glass roll that are conjugated with the nitrogenous compounds these compounds may be the cholin serin and the ethanolamine and other is the hydrophobic tail hydrophobic tail composed of two long chains fatty acids that are coincidentally bonded with the glycerol components tail is hydro hydrophobic and nonpolar it composed of the two long chain fatty acids that are coincidentally bonded with the glycerol and the head head is a hydrophilic and it is a polar it is composed of the phospholipids that are conjugated with the nitrogenous 
compounds such as choline, serine, and the ethanolamine. The composition of the cell membrane proteins may be uh, 47 to 50 and the these proteins are of two types it may be integral or the peripheral integral membrane uh, proteins are basically that that embedded are passed completely through the lipid bilayer and other peripheral membrane proteins they present on the outer uh, inner surface of the membrane that are not emitted by the lipid bilayer these integral membrane proteins are also known as the transmembrane proteins in this the majority of the integral membrane proteins they pass as the pain through the entire thickness of the cell membrane they are known as the transmembrane proteins they may be one pass proteins or maybe multi pass proteins some transmembrane proteins are very small and they span the membrane only once this is known as the one pass proteins and other are the multi pass proteins Many transmembrane proteins are very large and they are folded several times and they pass through the cell membrane several times. They are known as the multi pass proteins. Carbohydrate, carbohydrate components. What is the carbohydrate protein in the cell membrane? These are the oligosaccharides in nature. They are basically attached with the phospholipids head. These are known as the glycolipids if they are composed with the Attached with the proteins are known as the glycoproteins. If the carbohydrate attached with the phospholipids, they are known as the glycolipids. If they are attached with the proteins, they are known as the glycoproteins. What is the glycocalyx or the cell coat of the cell membrane? This is a fizzy shape coat present on the outer surface of the cell membrane. It composed of the glycolipids and the glycoproteins portion of the cell membrane. Some its functions are the it makes cell association adhesion, it makes cell receptor or cell signaling pathway for the hormones, and it is its function may be in absorptive such as in the introcytes of the small intestine, and may, it may contain the enzymes for the digestion. Its enzymes are the such as angiotensin converting enzymes, antithrombin 3, and the lipoproteins lipase. What is the transport system of the cell membrane? In transport, there are uh, passive transport, active transport, and the vesicular transport. Three types of the transport that can be done by the cell membrane. First is the passive transport. In the, this transport, the molecules leave the higher, com higher concentration level to the lower concentration level without the use without of the expenditure of the energy so in the passive transport cell have a no need of the energy for this in this the cell may perform the passive diffusion or the facilitated diffusion in the passive diffusion such as fat and fat soluble substances that dissolve in the lipid bilayer and pass through the it such as Uncharted small ions and such as hydrophobic molecule and gases such as oxygen and the carbon dioxide they they pass through the membrane by the passive diffusion and other are the facilitated diffusion in this water soluble and the water molecules and amino acid and small ions pass through the cell membrane. And these ions are the sodium, potassium, calcium, and chloride. These these are by the help of the channel proteins, such as sodium potassium channel and sodium proton pump. And second type is the active transport. In this, the molecules go through the lower concentration area to the higher concentration by the use of the energy in the form of the ATP. This is done by the carrier proteins such as sodium potassium pump in this the ATP is used third type is the vesicular transport in this the large molecules and the small molecules that that pass through the cell by the use of the vesicle by the cell membrane invagination this first type is the endocytosis endocytosis exocytosis and the last is the 
Phagocytosis. Let's start vesicular transport. Large molecules and small molecules by the formation of the vesicles they pass through the cell membrane. First is the endocytosis in this substance enter the cell in the form of the vesicles. In this is the pinocytosis, then the receptor mediated endocytosis, and the third one is the phagocytosis. Let's start from the pinocytosis. Pinocytosis means that cell drink fluids. In this, the is also known as the protocytosis and the fluid phase endocytosis. Fluids and the small molecules enter the cell. The small endosomes are formed by the invagination of the cell membrane that contain the outer materials or the substances encoded in it. These pinocytic vesicles may be range from the 50 to 100 nanometer in dia. Second part is the receptor mediated endocytosis. In this, the legend molecule that are specific large molecules that enter the cell by the help of the cargo receptors. This is receptor mediated is done by the cargo receptors that present in the outer surface of the cell membrane. They connected the internal protein known as the clathrin protein. Clathrin protein contains the coated vesicles that are formed and they pinch off from the cell membrane that come into the cytoplasm and they fuse with the endosomes. And in this, the next is the phagocytosis. In phagocytosis, the cells eat the large particles. It is the engulfment of the particles by the cell. In this, such as bacteria, debris, and the other cells engulfed by the macrophages. In this, the large membrane-bound vesicles are formed. They are known as the phagosomes, and they it fuse with the lysosome to form the phagolysosome. The second type is the exocytosis. Exocytosis means the secretion of the particles from the cell outside. In this, the, such as exocrine glands secrete their materials outside the cell. In this, the secretory products of the exocrine glands are fused to, into the membrane bound secretory vesicles that bind to the cell membrane and where they are excited outside. Exocytosis basically is the exit of the molecules from the cell by the way of the cell membrane. What are cell surface receptors? There are three types of cell surface receptors ion chain linkage receptors, enzyme linkage receptors, and the last one is G protein linkage receptors. First start from the ion channel linkage receptors. They are gated channels, they have a gate for the, their ions. And they open when the legend molecules or large molecules bind to them and they close when the legend molecules leave them. Simply when the legend attach to them, they will be open. When they leave the channel, they will be closed. Such as sodium, potassium, gated channels. And second is the enzyme linked channels. They are one pass transmembrane proteins. These proteins pass only once from the cell membrane. They are very small proteins. In this the one transmembrane proteins externally surface act as the receptors. In this, the legend binds to the these receptors external surface and in its in internal surface produces the enzymes. When external surface attached with the legend molecules, it stimulates the intersurface to produce some enzymes that that carry out or that perform the function in the cell that are very required cells. In this, see the mechanism of the transport system. And third part is the G protein linkage receptors. These are multi pass transmembrane proteins. In this, the extra surface function as the receptor. In this, 